21st century woman has arrived and how? Be it politics, the armed forces or entrepreneurship, today's women are taking up challenges and marching ahead with pride in every sphere of society. To applaud the journey of these women of substance, the National Commission for Women along with your story organized an event called Shakti on International Women's Day in New Delhi. We present some glimpses from the event. It is a great honor and privilege that uh, National Commission for Women has, uh, uh, you know, done this event, has uh, uh, made Shakti possible. And spe especially I want to uh, thank uh, Shrimati Lalita Kumara Mangalam. As you know that uh, uh, we keep talking in the government about, uh, and government people keep talking about doing something for women, but this lady today has made it happen. And uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for uh, uh, making uh, Shakti happen. I think in the last uh, maybe 18 months or so, some of the schemes have been rev very revolutionary. Example, the Jandhan scheme and the Aadhaar card, because the Aadhaar card scheme is something that will give women just one card, beginning with gas connections to access to finance, everything can be done. So I would tell women today that go out and get yourself an Aadhaar card. All you perhaps need is maybe a ration card, which a lot of women have. If they don't, some proof of identity is always available. Today we have one billion Aadhaar cards in this country. Pehle mahilaon ko ye swatantrata nahi thi ki wo rajniti mein पारिवारिक पृष्ठभूमि होती थी तो महिलाएं कहीं ना कहीं व्यवस्था अगर उस तरह होती थी आरक्षण हो या पुरुष नहीं लड़ सकते तो महिलाओं को जरूर उतारा जाता था लेकिन आरक्षण के बाद महिलाओं को एक स्वतंत्र प्लेटफॉर्म उपलब्ध हुआ और प्लेटफॉर्म मिलने की वजह से आज क्या है महिलाएं हर क्षेत्र में राजनीति के क्षेत्र में बहुत ही ज़्यादा सक्रिय भूमिका है बस थोड़ी सी कमी ये है कि वो आज भी एक मार्गदर्शक की तलाश में रहती हैं मैं उन बहनों को कहना चाहती हूँ आपको आपने स्वयं उस मार्ग को चुना है परिवार के सहयोग से वो मार्ग चुना है आपको सीखने की ज़रूरत है सीख करके खुद से आप सिर्फ मोहरा ना बने आप खुद मोहर लगा सकें देर इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी इन दिस कंट्री टुडे बट इफ यू गोन बी ऑन्टरप्रनियर्स इफ यू गोन बी सक्सेसफुल यू कान जस्ट स्टॉप एट लुकिंग एट द अपॉर्चुनिटी वॉट यू हैव टू लुक एट is what problem are you solving for these people earlier in the day mr ravindra from dipp confirmed as to what what all exemptions are available under the startup scheme and uh, the mechanics of it but typically on our experience what we've seen is if there is a, a big requirement for funding to come in to your startup the most preferred option is to set up a private limited company yes a private limited company does come up with its own set of challenges in terms of filings and regulatory compliances, but these are necessary to-dos in the larger scheme of things. What is important is that tomorrow, when India is going to emerge as a strong nation in its own right, we will have a new culture that will define the voice of a new India, and in which ladies have to play a very important role. So therefore, this entire conception of Shakti Women Startup in India is something that truly fascinated me. That what's really necessary is for you to know what the law is, what the schemes are, what the policies are. Make yourself aware. And honestly, being a woman or a man is not going to make any difference there. I mean, you, you have the same access to information, you have same access to people. So honestly, you can use that information to decide what the best way forward for your business is either from a legal sense or from a business planning sense. An idea is something, uh, it starts off like an idea, you try it out and if it doesn't work then you need to change and you need to focus. The top priority for anyone who is an entrepreneur is to fall in love with your problem. So if, if you fall in love with your pro problem, you'll try to you know, find solutions. Going back to this story I was wanting to tell you about uh, girls in government schools. And as an exercise, an exercise we did was, so close your eyes and tell us what your dream is. And these are grade seven and eight girls in government schools in Delhi. And I'm talking about seven, eight years ago. And the girls actually don't have a dream beyond marriage. Why? Because they have learned, they have been, they have uh, curtailed their dreams. So it's not like they don't have dreams, but they've taught themselves not to be disappointed because it's not going to happen. I mean, I can, there's no point in my dreaming of becoming a pilot or a scientist or whatever because ultimately by 16, 
my parents are going to get me married. Uh, and so therefore, uh, they don't have any dreams. So when we talk about startup India and you're talking about women and entrepreneurship, I think you're very right. We need to think of all the women out there. And are we really enabling them to dream? Traveling for women is not like traveling for men. Men can stay at the cheapest of the hotel, at, le at least when they're starting up. And, but as a woman, you're always scared to do that. Uh, yeah, I think that scare is also frivolous. You just have to let it go because uh, when I started staying in cheap hotels, I realized it's not that bad. Globally, we have the same problem. Women are always fighting the earth because they feel they should be doing perfectly well at everything that they do and we've handled a lot. So uh, I think the, the, the statistics are available that women tend to do more housework than men. Now I think most of us know that but how many of, how many men feel guilty about that? None. But ask a woman and oh my god I didn't do this, I didn't do that, my, my clothes are not folded and you know my this is not done and that's not done. Now that's the major first big issue, if you're able to be okay with your guilt, now it's okay, perfectly okay to have guilt, but use your social networks, use uh, your own networks of family and friends to be able to use as sounding boards so that you can uh, tell them about whatever you're facing, get it out of the way and get back and focus on work. Taking the Startup India Stand Up India initiative a step further for women, the National Commission for Women marked International Women's Day on March 8 by organizing Shakti, a series of workshops aimed at women entrepreneurship.